Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Amazon Echo Show number five. It is the lowest price Amazon Echo Show that you can get on the market. I'm gonna be walking you through the setup, but also showing you some of the best ways to get started using the Amazon Echo Show so that you can automate your life and have more fun with Amazon Alexa products. Stay tuned, I'm Owen Video, and you're watching Life Automated. You're watching Life Automated with Owen Video. Okay, so let's start by unboxing the Amazon Echo Show, and there's really not a lot to this, and that's something that I love about Amazon is they make it very, very simple. So once you open the box, you'll see that we have the device in here, okay, and it's very well protected and it looks really good. Now on the device, you're gonna see a set of power buttons or, or power inputs back here. The one on the leftmost side is your power. The middle is a USB, it is not powered. And then the right is a cable so that you can connect this to um, your speaker system. And connecting Amazons to speakers are, are great, but really Bluetooth I think is gonna be the better option. On top of the device, you also have some other buttons which we'll show you how they work in a second. But largely, it's covered in fabric which gives it a nice look and it rests you know, just kind of really nicely um, on its own. As you see in the rest of the box here, we have the instruction manual and we also have the power cord. So that's all that comes in the box. And once you plug it in, Amazon's gonna go through sort of a, an automated setup process for you. I'm not gonna go through that entire process because it's pretty self-explanatory, but there are three big questions that I wanna walk you through so you know how to answer them. So let's go ahead and get started by plugging this bad boy in. Okay, so you can see that we're going through the Amazon setup process. Now it's asking me to set up my Amazon account. In this section, you're gonna enter the Amazon account that you order products from. And that'll make sure that this Alexa is synced up with that account so you can order stuff from this account, but also so that any additional features and, and downloads and upgrades and stuff can all be sent to your one Amazon account. So some people have got confused over, do I start a new account or I wanna have a different account for each Alexa? Don't do that. Use your standard Amazon account for all of these. And this is one of the things that I really love about this product is that you can actually type on the screen while you're using the device. So it's not totally voice and app dependent, which I think is um, pretty consistent. Now it's asking me which address this Echo belongs to. This is a real key point because I have Alexas in multiple locations. So I actually have Alexas over at my dad's house and I have Alexas at my house. And the ones that are at my dad's house are on a separate network and those all work together. The ones at my house all work together and we can certainly call each other but you certainly want to know what house they're at, okay? So you're going to be you know, really careful to make sure that you put the right address and that all the Amazons in one household are connected to one account. So let's go ahead and put that information in now. And now it's asking me to give my device a name, okay? This is really key because you have two different names for your Echo devices, and this is true across the board. You have, a device, you have a name for the device, but then you also have a wake up word that, that gets the, the, the device to talk to you. I'm gonna just call this one my Echo Show because it's the only Echo Show I have in the house. And so if I wanna talk to Alexa, like, hey Alexa, you know, give me a status on my Echo Show, it knows what device to choose. So I'm just gonna click continue there. Okay, this next question is so important, it's saying, do you want to make this a dedicated children's device? Now, for those of you with kids, you can get an Amazon Echo Show and turn it into an Amazon kids device really, really easily by selecting yes. And when it's selected yes, there's a bunch of limitations that come onto the Amazon. Like there are questions it won't answer, and it will say, sorry, this device can't answer those questions. There will be songs that they can't play. But I gotta tell you, like I really do like the Amazon Kids program. My kids do have a Kid Alexa, and it's pretty strict. Like it won't play explicit lyrics, and and there's certain books it won't read. There's certain queries it won't answer, and it will say like, hey, this is this is not part of your 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 kids program. And so this for this, however, will be an adult. So I'm gonna put make this a dedicated children's device. I'm gonna put no. Okay, now obviously my kids can go and, and, and do whatever they want with like, you know, sneak, but they don't. This will be in the kitchen. Everybody will be able to hear. 
And now the device, I think it's ready. Let's see if there's any more setup questions. This device is ready. And now your Echo Show device is all set up and ready to go. It only took a couple of minutes. Let's now take a look at the sitting device and see how it works so that you can get the most out of your Amazon right off the bat. Now keep in mind, this device can do so much stuff but it will take a while to sort of like memorize and, and second nature some of the voice commands. So right now I wanna just get you kind of familiar with the device and what some of these things do, okay? So right off the bat, we see this beautiful picture of me on my green screen from years ago. That's why I love having photos because this is a kind of a fun memory that we don't get to see all the time. But let's take a look at the buttons on the top here. This switch right here, notice that little white circle that appears. This is your camera, so you can do video calls and you can take pictures from this device. And you can do it all with your voice. You can say something like, Alexa, take a picture. Okay, get ready. And then you can see the camera comes on. There's my wife who's helping me film today. It's all, oh look at that, it already took the picture. And then there you go, the picture is taken and it's saving it to Amazon Photos. So this up here operates the camera and you can turn the camera off like that and you can turn the camera back on like that. But going back to the buttons, we have a plus volume and a minus volume here. And then you've got this button right here for turning off the microphone. So all Alexas by default are listening to you, right? Because they, they're listening for their wake up word. But if they don't hear it, or if you put it on mute, they won't hear it, they won't be listening. And for some of you guys with privacy issues, there, there just might be times where you don't want, you know, you're talking politics and you're like, let's turn Alexa off, you, you know what I mean? So we don't have anybody knocking, any goons knocking on our door. But you'll see that in default mode, the Alexa show has its own sort of screensaver mode. Is that our ring doorbell? So somebody is at our door. <laughs> Uh, what I do like about this, oh, look at this. The ring doorbell is going off right now. That's perfect. Look at that. Did you do that? Oh, that was perfect timing. We couldn't have asked for better timing on that. So if someone rings your ring doorbell, the Amazon Echo Show will show you exactly who's at your door. That's why we're keeping this in the kitchen. So my wife can be cooking. Somebody comes to the front door and uh, we, we, can, we can answer it. So what I do want to show you is that if you swipe down, you get a bunch of new options. And these are all device specific. So you can like come over here and click settings. You can rename your device. You can choose a wake up word. Uh, you can uh, mute it. Uh, there, there's a, a lot that you can do, including, um, uh, you know, resetting the device back to back to factory if you if you need to do that. Now, similarly, you can swipe from the side and voila, it's the Alexa app right here. So anything that you can do from the Alexa app, including like setting up routines, augmenting routines, changing routines, can all be done from right here. But if you wanna know like some of the best things that I think that you can do with this device, here's my favorite. Number one is that you can watch Netflix and YouTube. Alexa, open Netflix. Here's Netflix. And boom, I would need to sign in to make all of that happen. You can also see any other video cameras that are connected to the Alexa network. For example, Alexa, open my living room camera. Okay. And boom, I can see my living room and I can see that my little one is watching TV when she shouldn't be. Another thing that I really like, it's such so nerdy guys, but I love this, check this out. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. How nerdy is that? And there's tons of different games and things that you can play. And so uh, for me, at the end of the day, the Alexa show is, Alexa, stop. The Alexa show is a game changer. It, it is, we have dots of every generation. We have kid dots, we have speaker dots. The Echo show changes everything. The Echo 5 is, I think, the one to get right now. The Echo 8 uh, is expensive, and I just don't see the value in it yet. The newest Echoes are like $100 or more. This was marked down to like 45. So I put a link in the description box. Go get it. Play with it. Have fun with it. And it's okay if you don't have all the cameras and the other stuff first. You add on to that stuff like as you go. You buy one camera at a time, you get some light bulbs and that sort of thing. We're gonna be reviewing all of those things. I'm gonna be sharing with you which light bulbs to get, how to manage them through the app. 
So go get your Echo Show and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you next time.